Right, hi guys. Today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to start painting. So, the first thing, any guesses? It's paint. You need paint to start painting. I think any brand will do. Some will be more pigmented and some you have to build up with layers. But yeah, just any paints to start you get these tiny little ones if you don't want to mix colours when you first begin. If you do want to go full in deep into mixing paints and colour theories then you can just get primary colours which are magenta, cyan, yellow, black and white. That's all you really need to be honest. With the bare minimum you know you could paint using your fingers or a toothbrush toothpick is swirly cleany thingies but if you are going to do the traditional painting then you'd need some brushes probably ones that are nicer than these I usually like using square head brushes square head brushes square head brushes no come on now wow <gasps> yay square head brushes because I feel like when I'm painting I was able to get a lot more control over the paint Oh, there we go. Bingo. So the next thing you need to paint is a surface, a piece of paper or some wood. Or you can go crazy, go wild and paint on your wall, your face, anything. Canvases. Canvas boards, which is one of these. And a canvas board is like stretch canvas, but it's over like wood, I think. And those are the kind of main things you need, really. Paint, surfaces and something to paint with. Or if you want to be really fancy, you can use one of these, a palette knife. You're probably wondering what they're all for. I can't tell you that because I don't know. Go ham, go crazy, get painting in quarantine. The next thing you would need is something to hold your water or to clean your brushes in. This is a really beautiful mug. Just fill it with a tiny bit of water. You don't need to fill the whole thing because you might end up spilling it and then it goes on your carpet and then you have to sneak downstairs and get carpet stain remover tuck it under your jumper and then run upstairs and spray the carpet and scrub like crazy and then you have to try and get the spray downstairs before your parents see it in your room uh, oh you need something to put the paint on this is my very expensive paint palette made of a piece of wood anything will really work as a palette so a piece of wood I went from using paper or you can really fancy palette and I'm really excited to use that actually because I got really bad cramp when I was using this I was standing and holding this paint palette like this in my hand yes luckily my brother wants to be a physiotherapist so he put a boxing glove on my hand because we didn't have any bandages painting with a boxing glove on is really difficult but there you go set yourself a challenge paint with boxing gloves on and that is really everything you need somewhere to put your paint so it doesn't go on your floor a surface something to paint with and paint. There you go. You never know, you could be the next Mozart. Mozart? Not Mozart. What's his name? Uh, the really famous guy, Picasso. That's it. Thank you so much and I hope you all get painting. If you want to see other tutorials and shiz and arty farty stuff, then you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter uh, and Pinterest actually. Subscribe and like the video and I'll be coming out with more stuff soon. Have a good day guys. Bye!